This level one is the FRS, Family Radio Service, that she's got that you can buy $15 for Toy R Us, Toys R Us, and so on. Then the next level above that is a license, but no, no test. It's called General GMRS. These are all GMRSs. This is 15 watt. The one I have in my truck is 40 watt. So you can go up to 50 watt output on them, which is quite a little bit. A lot of ham radio people go at 100 watt, right? Mm -hmm. And you've got 22 channels, and the two of them cross over. <clears throat> the GMRS crosses over with the FRS. <clears throat> you have to use certain antennas. For example, the FRS has to have a built-in antenna. You can't use one. This one, you can get bigger antennas and a detachable one. Therefore, with these, you can go up to 50 watts. So depending on the channel of what you're trying to do, depending on how many watts. So obviously, in a disaster, whatever, Hi, you I'm want your as much wattage as possible or range. So on the truck, we've got uh, 40 watts by, by midway. And that goes quite a ways. Right now, we can cover most of Killeen. Most of wherever we live in Killeen, mm -hmm. we can cover from uh, a 15 watt or the, in the truck and back and forth between the vehicles. <clears throat> so, and then we're tying into the next level above that is the ham radio people. And I just gave him a thing. They will have their winter session the last Saturday of each month of, of January here in Copper's Cove. And <clears throat> so what you do in this framework of emergency preparedness is the neighborhood, everybody in the house uh, neighborhood would have the family radio one. And then certain people would have the GMRS. And then we have two of our teens now got their ham radio license. So those two then would tie in to the ham radio people. So like in Puerto Rico we had the problem, you can go up and down this chain and with these. And that ties in now into the mesh network. We can locate people by, let's say in Houston, somebody's on a rooftop, they want a helicopter to come and go. So with that radio, they can give the exact location of, of where they're at. The helicopter can come in and pick them up. So it was part of what they call a Skywarn system. It's part of FEMA. Uh, it's part of the, uh, at the national level, the state level, and the regional level on emergency preparedness. At 7.30 tonight, uh, McKinley, who's not here, but she's the one who's got her ham radio license, out of Coryell County, where they've got repeaters, they have a repeater here in Copper's Cove, there's 10 counties will be talking on emergency network. For They all check in, so they talk for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then at 8 o'clock, the Bell County people go on. So, Anyway, this is all part of getting ready for a disaster, wildfires, floods, uh, whatever for this whole area. So, uh, Copper's Cove is on top of it. The fire department here is very much involved with this whole movement. So, so. Anyway, that's all we've got.